Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. This here are six hours brand new laser range finding binoculars called Kilo 3000 BDX. Six Hour is a company with headquarters in the US known for manufacturing rifles and pistols for law enforcement and commercial use. Their offer also includes rifle scopes, red out sights, range finders and similar optical devices. They are known for their innovative designs. Each device of theirs is designed so that it stands out of the crowd and this device here is no exception. Kilo 3000 BDX are their brand new laser range finding binoculars that were introduced this year in 2019. However, they are not new to the range finding technology the company. They have plenty of experience with range finding monoculars and those are one of the best for civilian use on the market and they can compete with the most renowned brands such as Leica. The Kilo 3000 features BDX, which you can see <clears throat> here on the box. This stands for Ballistic Data Exchange. This is a technology that was introduced last year in 2018, and I will say more about it later. First, let's focus on the outer appearance of these binoculars. With eye cups pulled out, the length is around 15 centimeters, the width is around 12 and a half centimeters when fully extended. They weigh 879 grams with the battery inserted, which means that they're not too heavy for this type of binoculars. Even though the design is typical for six hour, you can see that there are plenty of interesting details, cool details on the surface. This form factor is familiar. So we've seen it before with Vortex Fury and Kales Helia. They use a similar form factor that features these bulbs here on the bottom. They also have the same single hinge design used to adjust the interpopulary distance and the locations for the buttons are also the same. Because of this, our guess is that these binoculars are manufactured somewhere in Asia, in, in Asia probably in China like the Fury and Helia. The software inside this one, however, is quite different and much more advanced from the previously mentioned binoculars, as you will learn when we get to that part. If we go back to the appearance, we can see that the aluminum housing is rubberized. With that, grip is improved and the protection against impacts is much better. The focus knob is big enough to be operated, operated with index or middle finger or both. And it is also stiff enough for my taste. Kilo 3000 BDX features dual diopter setting. The eye cups are rubberized and can be fixed in four positions. That's one, two, three, four, and they make for a comfortable use. I like that the notches or strap attachment are flush with the housing and do not protrude. Six hour logos, as I said also already, add to the overall appearance and the color of the device is a mixture of green and gray. For now, these are available in one configuration only, that is a 10 times magnification combined with 42 millimeter objective lenses, which is also one of the most popular configurations for laser range finding binoculars on the market. It's now time to say some words about the technology incorporated into this device. So this device is powered by the BDX technology and you will need a smartphone with Android or iOS to benefit from it. First, you download the BDX app and install it. Then you bond the rangefinder with the app, which you do. Now I'm here in the app. You can see that the device is already paired with my smartphone. Then you go and create your ballistic profile. You can choose uh, from many calibers that are already inserted in the library. You will get the here you have the diameter listed, the weight and the coefficient. And then you also insert uh, values such as muzzle velocity and zero range. Now you will have to transfer this information to the range finder, which you do right here, range finders. So now it's waiting for the connection. It will now connect with the device. In this part of the app, um, you can also set the wind speed here. You can also, uh, set wind direction second yeah like so so now i'm setting the direction and here is the wind speed then you have 
you can set the temperature and there are cool features if you press this button it will obtain temperature from the closest weather station you also set the attitude and so on and uh, if we go back here you can also manipulate with settings such as uh, choosing from whether the information is displayed in meters or yards kilometers per hour miles per hour and so on so you, you can set all that and each time you go in here you have to connect with the rangefinder and uh, now that it's connected it's also updated on the device and each time you're going to measure the distance while in the ABU mode on the laser rangefinder the rangefinder will first display the distance and then the amount of MOA or, or mil needed first for elevation and then for windage. Here you can set whether the information is displayed in MOA or mil. And that's basically it. So a really fun application to play with. You get used to it fast enough. Um, this app can also be linked to a rifle scope that supports BDX. Here you can see that I also have a rifle scope uh, paired with my smartphone. And once that is done, the spotter uses the rangefinder to measure the distance to the observed object. And the information is transferred to the rifle scope. And then an illuminated holdover dot appears on the rifle scope's reticle. Right here, I cannot show you how this works, but there are plenty of videos on the internet, so you can check them out. Okay, back to the device itself. I already mentioned that this device features the ABU mode, and in this mode you can connect it with the app. And in this mode you can also benefit from the information of how much elevation and windage in MOA or mil is needed uh, for an accurate shot. Then there is also a LOS, which is a line of sight mode in which distance to the object is measured and the angle of the incline is also listed. In the AMR mode, the equivalent horizontal range is provided based on the line of sight and the angle of the incline. Um, then we have the fourth mode, which is called ABX, and this is really something special with these binoculars. It's called Applied Ballistics External. Now we have to know that the BDX system runs on a software which allows ranging up to 800 yards and promises one MOA of accuracy. With ABX, however, you have a ballistic solution even if you shoot farther than this. This mode, so the AVX, allows you to pair your device with a Castrel that runs on AB Elite software. And once paired, you can range as far as the rangefinder allows you and you will be provided with a ballistic solution. So, really a great addition uh, by Six Hour. The laser rangefinding binoculars uh, in general, are optically less efficient in dusk because of the laser system. The display is in the right tube, tube and you can notice some blue tint immediately when looking through, which affects the overall light transmission rate. Six Hour uses the spectra coat anti-reflection coating, which improves the light transmission rate and optical clarity. And with this coating, they try to tackle the problem that laser rangefinding binoculars have with light transmission. But of course, they're still not there optically. There's, they still can be compared with standard binoculars that do not have a laser system integrated. These use another interesting technology called Lumatic, which, with which they ensure that the intensity of the illuminated display is corresponded with the ambient light. And even though these coatings are present, we still have blue tint and we still have chromatic aberration. What I'm really impressed with is the swiftness of the scan mode. To activate it, you simply hold the range button. And in scan mode, the distance to the observed object will be updated four times per second, which is incredibly fast. The technology that aids in speedy measurements is called LightWave DSP. Six Hour claims that this device can range up to 5,000 yards, which equals four, roughly 4,000 600 meters, but it only works on highly reflective surfaces. I tested these in, in a, on a hilly terrain and got a maximum of 2,800 meters, which I have to admit is already far enough. The ambiental conditions were not that fa favorable when I was testing these binoculars, and I believe that I could range farther if 
the conditions were better. I could measure dis distances to trees up to 2,100 meters away, but I didn't have the opportunity to measure distance to an animal at a similar distance. 6-hour promises that Kilo 3000 BDX can provide distances up to 1,500 yards, which equals 1,370 meters for deer-sized animals. The device works on a CR2 battery, which is installed on the bottom. Try not to open it with a coin, as you will leave marks on there. You can also mount it on a tripod. A thread can be found underneath this cap here. The price for these binoculars is 1539 euros, which is a really underst understandable price considering the features that it has to offer. They offer lifetime warranty on the material and five years on the electronics. What about the scope of delivery? You of course get the binoculars inside the package. You get this real nice bag in which the binoculars can be stored, a strap for this practical case, uh, so you can basically put it around your shoulders and wear it in front of yourself. You get a CR2 battery in the box and a quick reference guide. Uh, really only the basics are listed on and its capabilities. The full, full user manual uh, can be downloaded here if you enter this link in your browser. And that's basically everything that you get, plus of course the warranty, lifetime on the material and five years on the electronics. We are slowly nearing towards the end of this review and as is usual, we will point out some advantages and disadvantages of these laser range finding binoculars. Starting with the strong points, of course. So the major thing here is that these binoculars run on the BDX system, which allows them to be paired with a smartphone and a rifle scope if you have one. And that greatly increases the usability of the device and ranks it above other similar devices in this price class. Then we also have the ABX mode, a great addition, and this mode allows you to connect it to a Kestrel that runs on AB Elite software, providing ballistic solution on distances greater than 800 yards. Then we have the extremely fast scan mode that provides four measurements per second, which is incredibly quick. And we have the measuring range up to 5,000 yards, which is amazing. And even though I got a maximum of 2,800 meters when testing these, the ambient conditions were not that great. So I believe that I could get much more if the conditions were perfect. Nonetheless, 2,800 is enough if you ask me and will do for 99% of the shooters out there even more than 99%. Last but not least, no other laser range finding binoculars offer a ballistic calculator at this price point. What about the things that perhaps still need a little bit of work on? Well, the first thing that I notice is the bulkiness. We have these two bulbs on the bottom and plenty of manufacturers of this type of binoculars still have trouble with hiding the laser system and the software in the housing so that it doesn't protrude somewhere. And here we have the bulbs on the bottom, which we seen before with Fury, with Helia and some others. Then we have the blue tint on the right tube, which affects the overall light transmission rate. And optically, these binoculars are still not at the same level as some of the more expensive laser rangefinding binoculars from the European manufacturers. And I also noticed that some chromatic aberration is present. Well, that's basically it. So, in conclusion, I think that these laser range finding binoculars are a best buy in this price class. Compared to Kales Helia range finder and Vortex Fury, these take the pole, the pole position, mostly because of the excellent BDX technology and an app that is really fun to play with. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this review useful, like this video, leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any additional questions, subscribe to our channel and uh, check out our other videos. See you next time. Thank you.